Previously, we installed Arch Linux on this tiny, underpowered goober of a handheld PC, the hard way. But that was just for fun. Today, we're gonna turn this into the ultimate mobile hacking machine. I mean, security research. We're installing the 32-bit version of Kali Linux, so stay tuned. And if you enjoy finding new uses for what some might call e-waste, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. The last time we saw this 2008 Panasonic Toughbook CFU1, we installed Arch Linux via the command line using the built-in Chiclet keyboard. And that was just for a bit of fun, but it wasn't exactly useful. This little goober only has a single ultra-low power Z520. Among the shrinking pool of Linux distros with official 32-bit install media, we have a few big names like Debian, SUSE Tumbleweed, and most interestingly, Kali Linux. Now, if you're not familiar with Kali Linux, prepare to be interested. It's a purpose-built Linux distro meant for, specifically, cybersecurity. It includes hundreds of tools for hacker stuff, and it can be both quite useful and quite dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So if you do try any of this at home, use it at your own risk. And also maybe consider a fulfilling and exciting career in cybersecurity. Anyway, I've downloaded the 32-bit install image for Kali. Let's boot the goober from it and see how painfully slow this install is gonna be. Wait, I can't wear this shirt. I'm gonna jinx the install. That was a hilarious segue into today's sponsor, Into the AM. You probably have noticed that I'm a fan of weird, interesting t-shirts. So I took today's sponsorship from Into the AM, well, for me, I wanted this one. Into the AM is a team of artists and creators who put some really interesting artwork into some really premium apparel. I mean, usually I'm wearing like some weird garbage shirts I found at a thrift store. So wearing super comfortable into the AM is quite a change for the better. And I freaking love their designs, especially some of the space and sci-fi designs that kind of evoke that old school astronaut and the vast emptiness of space aesthetic. Right now, get Graphic Tees 3 for $61.95, additional 10% off using my link in the description, and Basic Tees $52.95 for 3, additional 10% off, link down in my description. High quality printing, super nice, soft, great fit. I like it, and if you like interesting shirts and graphic tees like I do, I think you might like them too. All right, so once again, I'm not taking the easy way out and hooking up a keyboard and mouse, Oh no, we're doing this with the built-in keyboard and touchscreen and our single USB port. So let's boot this up from the Kali installer. Oh yeah, graphical install, don't mind if I do. You know, I really kinda came to love this Chiclet keyboard. It's quite satisfying and clicky. And the way it's laid out with the numbers in the middle and the arrow keys in the middle, it's kind of great. Let's see if we have touch screen support. We do not. All right, English, United States, American English. All right, it detected the built-in Wi-Fi and has now connected to the internet. That's good. Host name here is gonna be, I don't know, hacks. I'll choose a secure password. That's uh, definitely not just the word action. You know, this install is actually going much more quickly than I expected. All right, use entire disk, please. Yep, 120 gig SSD that we hacked in in the previous video. Goodbye, Arch Linux. All right, well, apparently install complete. I've removed the install medium. Let's reboot and uh, see if this boots into Kali Linux. All right, so unfortunately, the boot process has stopped at a blinking cursor, which usually means that, uh, well, graphics aren't working. We can try to get into a terminal with Control, Alt, and then F2, which means I have to hold down these three buttons here because I need Fn. Now... 
That's not working. Okay, I can press E to get into advanced options here. I'm gonna change this to add no mode set. Man, I really do like this keyboard. It is way better than you would imagine. So yeah, no mode set control X. Oh, it's working. No mode set did it. Oh, that was way easier to solve than I expected. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, now, this did not work in setup, but it does work here. Oh yeah. Oh, we've got a Kali Linux machine. Oh man. Oh, look at that. Sean, and the password is definitely not just action, all lowercase. All right, log in. Oh, look at the background loaded. Mouse is not calibrated for the touch screen. Yeah, if I do X input list, we can see our Fujitsu component USB touch panel ID eight. And then we can configure it with X input set prop eight. And yeah, fiddling with these numbers here, let me figure out a decent, but not perfect, configuration for this stylus. So I, I am able to click it into everything and yeah, it does work. It's just, oh man, it is not perfect. But let's take a quick look at some of the cool hacker stuff that's included here with Kali Linux. But there is a nicely organized, huge compendium of software for doing all kinds of stuff. When I was doing web development, I did use some of these tools, specifically WP Scan to test out WordPress sites. But yeah, some of these can be kind of dangerous. You don't want to just run this stuff against somebody else's website or somebody else's network because you could get in a lot of trouble. These are very powerful, purpose-driven tools. I like how the default applications for a normal Debian install are here under usual applications. Under sniffing and spoofing here is the very famous Wireshark, a security tool that a lot of people are familiar with, even if they're not really in the hacking scene. And something like Wireshark is where I could probably get a lot of mileage out of adding a external antenna like this Our Link AC600 to get some range. And I have a longer one of these somewhere. All right, let's see how painful it is to run Firefox on here. Bear in mind that this little meter here is our CPU utilization. Launching Firefox here, we are quickly hitting 100% utilization. Awesome. And of course, if we're using a tiny hacker portable, we've got to try to read Hacker News. Yeah, this is a fairly lightweight site. I've zoomed in a bit here, rendered nicely. We're still at 100% CPU utilization, but hey, we're browsing. All right, well, using this down here in my basement layer is one thing, but where this really should shine is taking it out in the field. Well, that was a little silly, but the main point is I've been having a ton of fun with this goofball little computer. So thank you again, Mike, for gifting this thing to me. And I wanna know from you, what other weird software should I torture this thing with next? In any event, that'll do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more stuff like this, please subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching.
And a special thanks to Alex Hoffman, Alex the Rat, Andrew Nicholson, April White, Chris Biggs, Chris Calderon, Chris Nelson, Control Alt Reese, Darren Johnstone, Dave's Garage, Drew Hamlin, Eduardo Fonseca, Free Hours 9, Frodo Jedi, Gaspar Heller, George Rajansky, Graham, Greg from Rutk Mods, Harris Brody, JS, James Fryman, James Laurie, Jason Pipas, Camille Rakowski, Lyle Truid, Matthew Crowell, Nick Daniels, oh, it's just Jose, Paul Spencer, Ryan, Scott Cedarbaum, Scott Thompson, Steve Salivan, Tom Woodfin, Unknown Soldier 41, Veronica Explains, and Xantronics Industrial, who are my highest tiered patrons, and all of my Patreon supporters for helping to make these videos possible.